now I see the tractor running, they normally, oh, they know what's coming. So they're already getting prepared. They want to eat, they want to have their morning breakfast. So, Peter's out today, school's done. He was out yesterday helping uh, get stuff to get, help us get caught up with some work. That's going to be a while yet. Um, he loves running the tractor. Yesterday, so we literally have and we fed the calves so we just have the cows to feed one load for this morning and uh, and then we got some corn that we're just moving around making sure that our bins are all okay and then we're gonna work on that uh, our Highland uh, bale shredder we we just purchased that this year we traded in our uh, our bale king shredder and uh, we bought them as is or we bought this Highland one as is. So there's some bearings that are gone, a hydraulic hose that's uh, not the greatest, and a few other things that need to get done. So. We've actually had some really nice days. The last couple of days have been uh, not not nice and warm wise, but uh, nice as in the wind hasn't been horrible. Yesterday was a yesterday was a good working day. Gotta love that sunset or sunrise. Cows eating. Beautiful. Feeding's done, and we're gonna uh, keep on going here. We're, uh, we're gonna pull a couple loads out of each bin to make sure the bins are all good, and then we'll get working in the shop. Let's see how Peter's making out here. Get the front truck full of the Super Bowl. We've emptied out those bins already, or not emptied them up, but we pulled loads out. fluctuations in temperature and uh, in, when I was unloading uh, the hot corn or when I was transferring from those bins during harvest I was testing the grain lots and uh, some of it was still pretty hot so not hot it was in 30 30 to 35 degrees Celsius so we like to pull the cores out get the fines out of the middle of the bin and transfer it over just to make sure everything is good so we got a few spots where the grain was definitely warm it wasn't spoiling at all but it was just warm and um so we're checking things just to make sure once you're set up for it you kind of just want to get it over and do them all and then you know you're good we actually had um Typically when a van loads, it actually cones down. 
the whole thing is just sliding down. So that's a bit weird. Um, but I had the fans running on some of these bins uh, when it was really cold. And I guess there must have been some snow that got into uh, that our north bin and then melted during the warmth. When I threw the fan on, it froze a bunch. And that, those frozen chunks actually have plugged up our bottom grates at the bottom. The corn looks fine, but uh, now our bottom grates are plugged with uh, frozen chunks have gotten over top. So we got a bit of a problem there, but we'll figure it out. The corn's good, it's just, yeah. That'll be entertaining one day. We'll probably procrastinate with that one for a little while. That one has a fan on it, so I'm not overly worried. And I know the green's good in that bin, so that might be a spring slash summer job, depending on when we sell the corn. Hey, I'll leave. I put the coffee on. We'll go have some coffee, warm up a bit. I think we might take these super, uh, those, those super bees. We're gonna take them away uh, to go get safety. Okay. All right. Oh, we're done. Moving green around. Everything worked out good. We're gonna be hauling canola next, so we are. We're just cleaning out the hoppers. Go with some coffee. We've had, a, we've had a good morning so far. 
Peter! Just kill it and let's go. That's fine, we'll get it. You got the, the Massey hat. I did. I picked the Massey hat. No, I went to Harda to pay my bill and collect. So how'd you get it to work? I just loosened those a few bolts off and that's, that's all it was. It literally goes up and down no problem now? Like this, for sure. All right, let's see. One knock is off. So which bolts did you loosen? These guys, when the hoops are on, yep. get all those, just loose them. Huh. They don't need to be dead tight. Nice. That bearing's shot. Same with that one. We gotta change them. Okay, so let's take off this right here. Those ones first? Yeah, and if we take those, this one doesn't. There. I got, it's, uh, just, uh, what do you call it? Just a round head? There. Just in case we lose them here. Here's the other one. And... See, don't fret my pet. Well, twine, that's the culprit. That mesh will have blown that bearing. Oh, it's deep, you don't have to worry about that. Okay, yeah. This was all full of uh, mesh wrap. Mesh wrap wraps around the bearings, gets it hot, and the bearings don't last then. So that came apart relatively easy so far. Hopefully that one comes across, comes apart easy. So we just have this part right here, right there. That we gotta take off. And take this bearing housing out. That's the new one. So it's cheaper to buy it as a whole. This is cheaper like this to buy than just the bearing. A throwaway society we live in. Thank you. Oh, you bugger. You gave me a bum hammer. Did you know that? Do you have the impact? <laughs> Just like that, a whole lot easier. Problem is I got no room to work. And they're lock nuts. How do we hold the back side when the back side is completely covered? Well, how did you take it apart? The whole bearing came off because the bearing was shot. I could have put it together, but then we wouldn't have had the set screw.
You're good here. Pardon? Do you want me still in here? Oh, no, if you have something else to work on, I can try and figure this out. Yeah, I got my <clears throat> homework. <clears throat> So before I had the nut is way in there, completely flush. So I can use my magnet. There. Try this one. Three tight. One to go. There, that one's on. Did you have fun? Yeah, lots. Lots of fun. All right, we got those bearings in. I got my job done. I got the bearings in, but Peter's not quite done his. We got those bars to put in. He straightened those things out. Yeah, but everything's moving a lot better, so we'll get her fixed up tomorrow. It shouldn't take a whole lot. And uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video.